Hello there Pokemon fans, welcome to another Playscape Games video and today we're on our way to Bremen Regionals in Germany, the first, well our second big regional tournament of the season and our first overseas. I'm very excited to this, um, being half German myself it always uh, seems quite exciting coming back to the uh, to the motherland so to speak and uh, we're in a little town called uh, Stansted Monfichit, Monfichit, I don't know, we, par we parked in this town and we're getting a train from from here to, uh, to Stansted Airport to get our flights. So might be a bit rushed when we get to the airport, uh, so I thought I'd just uh, give you guys a quick uh, introduction and uh, yeah, I'll see you very soon. So we just touched down in Bremen, a uh, very quick flight um, on the Ryanair plane behind us. Uh, yeah, it was good, um, an hour and a half. Met loads of Pokemon, literally the plane was like half full of Pokemon players. Uh, Nick Pierce who's commenting for Limitless TCG this weekend. Anthony Horn, the Tishdula, loads, loads of good players, juniors, seniors, all sorts. So, it's a cool flight, chatted with uh, awesome BGC player Scott. Uh, yeah, we're just about to get into departures and hopefully we'll be, uh, be in the city soon. I'm um, looking forward to doing some testing later and yeah, see you in a bit. Hey guys, so just uh, 8.30 in the morning, it's quite cold. Got our coffee from a lovely patisserie around the corner and we just arrived at the Musical Theatre Bremen. Say hi Wendy. <laughs> and it's uh, registration is supposed to start at uh, so we're supposed to open at 8 but as you can see here it's at, everyone's just like milling around outside it's absolutely chaos um, no idea when they're going to be letting people in so we're just chilling outside there's no queuing system just with people randomly standing around yeah Ho hopefully we'll be letting soon fingers crossed uh, Benji from the Slowpoke World, how's it going Ben? Good, thanks man, good, so, good, very good. So we're, we're wait, still waiting to go in, um, how long have you been standing outside for? About 45 minutes. No, so. you have yeah, not yeah. been standing outside. Yeah, we, 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 uh, we got up at 6.30 for breakfast, uh, I had like 8 croissants with Nutella <laughs> because we're in Germany. Why not, 8 why, croissants, why not? Yeah. Gotta have it. Uh, then we got down here like as quick as possible for 8 and I've been sticky here ever since. Oh. So, so tell the wonderful people about your podcast, go. Um, so just in a nutshell, it is a comedy entertainment uh, strategy podcast. Uh, I get special guests on, me and Shay uh, Burton, my co-host, we get people on, we have a bit of a laugh, we do some games, some icebreakers, and then we just talk good old strategy and Pokemon essentially. So, and What's the name of the podcast? It is The Slowpoke Well. So there's the the, the, the Slowpoke there. there. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, uh, check it out guys, uh, obviously I just want to warn you it's not PG, but that's, that's the only thing. Not uh, suitable for children. Yeah, not suitable for children. I mean, if, you, if you're okay with watching it as a kid, whatever, but uh, PG-13 people, PG-13. So, so check out Slowpoke well, and um, hopefully we'll uh, be let in soon, fingers crossed. Alright, see you later guys. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, so we're in the uh, uh, inside the auditorium of the Music Theatre Bremen. It's a crazy uh, multi-tiered kind of like German building, theatre building. Um, down there, you can see where they're doing the live streams. Down there, uh, lots of people queuing for the get themselves registered. Uh, let's take you on a little tour. So, obviously, lots of uh, awesome Pokemon banners. Luke, you're in Ho there. It's pretty cool. Absolutely massive this place. What I like about here, unlike other venues, is that all the matches people are just playing on tables all over the place. So, not everyone's confined to like one sort of square hall. It's pretty cool. See lots of people over here getting their decks together, writing out their lists. It's pretty sweet. Um, people over here as well. Hopefully, a bit, a bit brighter when the matches actually start. That'll be awesome. So, over here, we've got the uh, lovely lady at the prize wall. Say hello. Hey. <laughs> So we got some cool goodies here, um, sleeves, um, like Pokemon figures, plushes. Nice lady early gave me some stickers. It's really awesome of her. Come and show you guys over here. Over here, the people are playing new Pokemon tournament GX or EX, whatever it's called. It's 
Francesco, so instead of uh, uh, Char Charizard, he sets our Splurat and Galadro. <laughs> I love it. Some more Pokemon over there. See, there's a little like cafe, restauranty bar thing over there. Take you guys over here. So you can see over here, there's more people. More people getting their decks ready, getting their bits together. Pretty cool. A few people might be practicing. Take you over here. Show you what's going on. Cool. So over here, we've got the awesome Lottie cards. So they're a Pokemon vendor selling cards, plushies, all sorts of cool stuff. Kind of things over there. It's pretty sweet. Take you over here. As you can see here. Hashtag Team UK getting their decks together. Say hello, everyone. Hey, hey, hey. You're right, guys. <laughs> pretty cool. Take you further up the building. See what we got up here. See one of the. Uh, Biggest climbers I've ever seen, 50 minutes per round as usual. To get the stairs, going further up, further up. Uh, yeah, it's just like more tables, more chairs, more just more people getting their stuff ready up here. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Very cool. And I'll show you guys an overview of the, the venue. Look at that. Absolutely massive. Started a bit later than we were expecting. Um, there was a lot of people um, needing bag checks, so sorting out security and stuff. But uh, yeah, should be starting soon. Fingers crossed. Playing SB on Garbage GX today. Very similar list to the one I played at the League Cup. Uh, link in the description. If you want to look at my League Cup report. And yeah, after this tournament, I'll also be putting up a report about what happened uh, at the Bremen Regionals today. So, and hopefully tomorrow I'll make top 32. So, fingers crossed we go well. And I'll see you in a bit, guys. Okay, so here at the players meeting, um, everyone's just sitting down, they're getting chairs organised, stuff and thing. People there waiting for their matches to start, people over there waiting for their matches to start. And over there, there's people standing up because they haven't got uh, chairs and tables yet. So let's try to uh, get those guys over there sorted for chairs and tables, including my friend Wendy. It's pretty cool. We got our deck list ready. Here we go. So that's what we're playing today. It's been Garbador. We've got our deck box. Call it a Mario Pikachu deck box uh, with our deck, dice, spare sleeves. You never know, you might, you might need those top loaders. You never know when you might need top loaders. Yeah, so there's about 360 odds Masters today. It's a big tournament, huge tournament. Um, it's all a bit chaotic, started a bit late. Um, there was bag search issues with the venue, issues with the venue bag searching, um, some other stuff. So hopefully, um, it's just about five minutes to 11. Hopefully, we're starting soon. Uh, fingers crossed. And yeah, looking forward to my first match, and I'll see you soon, guys. Hey, guys, so we are um, probably just over halfway through the day. Um, we just completed our fifth round. It's six o'clock, nearly just gone six o'clock, and um, yeah, it's five rounds, and we're still still hasn't like it, it started a bit slowly today. Um, took a while for people to took a while for the security to do the bag checks and stuff, but it's we're motoring through the rounds now. It is um, I am now three and one, three one one. So three wins, one tie, one loss with Espion Garbador. Um, started off awfully and I think I lost my first match and then in my second game I came up against a, a new player who was playing Beware Lapras Tapu Koko. Not brand new player, she was, she was a, quite a young girl, she's quite shy, quite nervous, um, helped her out of her deck afterwards, she seemed quite happy. Game three uh, I came up against um, a, I can't remember actually what game three was, game four I played the mirror match, Espeon Garbador. Um, he was using the Miraculous Shine, Espeon EX, to devolve all my Pokemon. Tapu Koko to spread the damage, devolve them, knock out the EVs and the Trubbishes. Um, he won, he kind of easily won game one. Game two, it was super close. Um, it went to time, it took a, so the game took a bit of time. Went to time, and um, yeah, so basically, um, I used Guzma and Psychic Energy, um, top decked, Got the um, knocked out his Pokemon um, from from my two from my two ends top deck. Super lucky. Got a draw out of that one. I'm super happy to get a draw from that. And then next game I 
beat a nice German guy who was playing guard of our GX. Um, he wasn't very new, but he was a good player, and uh, yeah, beat him, um, beat him 2-0 quite quickly. And uh, yeah, so now I'm 3-1-1. I'm in a good position, and uh, win another two, like win another two more games, and I'm in a, two or three more games, and I'm in a really good position. Four more rounds left to go. Uh, fingers crossed, we can win at least three of those, get some points. First uh, points from regionals would be awesome. Hey guys, so yes, we've uh, finished the uh, day here at the Bremen Regionals, the uh, main tournament. Um, at one point we were 3 1 1. Um, I think we were even like 4 2 1 at one point. Um, we had a good chance to get 6 2 1, potentially make the top cut. Fortunately, um, we ran up against uh, Gardevoir in our penultimate match. Uh, a nice guy called Tommy from Britain. Uh, he, it was, it was a mammoth. Absolutely long drawn out game. Uh, game one. Um, game one finished like four with ten minutes left. Um, yeah, it didn't work very well. Um, awful top decks. Uh, he won right at the end of that one. Uh, next we played uh, Luke Kirkham, Zernius break final round. We needed to win that game to have any chance of getting top 64 points. Unfortunately, um, yeah, he kind of ruffle stomped us. Game two, absolute dead hand again. Um, the whole day we teched in a Giratina promo and uh, the whole day um, we didn't come up against a single Greninja so yeah that's what I think of uh, Giratina so yeah fingers crossed um, I've registered for the League Cup tomorrow best of ones so fingers crossed we can still get something out of this uh, out of this weekend and yeah I'm gonna go back uh, go and have a beer now so yeah for German beer see you soon Hey guys, so we're here back at the Musical Theatre in Bremen. Uh, we're playing in the TCG Cup today, 121 Masters or something, a lot of Masters, big cup, at least seven seven rounds or so. Uh, we're playing uh, Galissapod GX, big shout out to Bodie Cutler from Ace Trainer Australia, um, using his League Cup winning list. Unfortunately, uh, I didn't make a very good first impression, <laughs> pardon the pun. Uh, playing uh, Glisspod GX in my first game. Um, I got a uh, Tapu Lely start against Metagross, got donked. So it can only get better from here, fingers crossed. Uh, place is buzzing, um, loads of people still here. Top 32 are playing upstairs, I believe. They're playing somewhere, I have no idea where they're playing. And um, yeah, fingers crossed it gets better. See you soon, guys. So over there is uh, where the top cut of the uh, TCG Regional Championships is being played. Um, as you can see here, stop tops area. So no one's getting in. There's the juniors and seniors over there playing some games. And uh, over there are masters. You can just about see Todd Reckliff there on the right. Um, a, few, a few English, uh, British players. Re uh, Luke Williams. Apologies for the shaky camera work, Luke Williams, a few other guys. Playing for a $5,000 first prize, so huge, huge, uh, huge stakes. And all of the uh, TCG League Cups being played on the, on the first floor, so lots of people playing down there as well. It's pretty cool. Even though it's not the most practical venue, I do love the uh, layout of this place. Good luck to all the British players uh, playing in the top cut today. Hey guys, so uh, yeah, we've just finished four and three at the League Cup with Galissabod Garbador. Um, it made a good first impression on me. Um, I started off quite well. I was three and one one at a point. I would needed to have, I think, like gone five, maybe five, like one one to have stand a chance of the top cut. Um, but yeah, it's a really good deck. I'll be writing more about it in my um, in my blog for Ludkin's Collectibles, so make sure you check that out. Uh, should be out this Wednesday. And uh, yeah, we got some uh, goodies here from the uh, League Cup. I thought I'd show you what we got. So yeah, we got some. Um, uh, we got because we finished like close to the top 32. It was awesome. They gave um, a point for every uh, for five points for their prize wall for the Jock Mock uh, people, the organisers. Got um, an awesome PG deck box. Uh, probably end up giving that to my uh, to my niece at some point. And they're giving out these awesome uh, Pokemon Tournament DX stickers. Look at them, don't they? Look amazing. Pikachu and Palladium are champs. So these are so it's pretty cool. So yeah, I thought I'd do a little uh, mini opening, Burning Shadows, and see if we get something good. So, didn't hit points this weekend. So hopefully we can hit some gold. All right.
And start off with, we've got a Heracross. Wishful Baton, Sophocles. Nothing amazing there. Pack number two. And Electrovive, Reverse Super Scoop Up, Charmeleon, Rhydon, nothing amazing again. Surely there's going to be one GX or Secret Rare in these five packs. Hoot Hoot, Tangler, Judiper, Diancy, Reverse Diancy's cool, Araquanid, Weakness Policy, Lana, no, nothing there. Two packs to go guys, come on, we've got to hit something good now. Maybe we've got the uh, Hyper Rare Charizard waiting for us. Lowland Volpix me out. ah, Wimpod, thought we'd play in earlier, Morel and Turtonator, no, come on guys. So last pack magic, let's get some uh, Ho-Oh last pack magic. Here we go guys, Arceus Blesses pack, see what we get. We'll do the, um, oh it's a green code card, why even bother? Ah, uh, I'm so salty right now. Oh, there we go. Absolute jank, but we got some, got a cool PG deck box to give to my niece Amber who's learning to play soon. And we got some cool Pokemon stickers. Uh, got a couple of extra sheets to take back to the league, so yeah, that's pretty awesome. Hey guys, so it's the Saturday, uh, the week after the um, uh, the Bremen Regionals finished. Um, I was travelling back late on Sunday, um, got home at about 2am and I just had the worst cold the day after uh, I got back to England. Um, I just about managed to work but I was in no fit of state to record any videos for those three days. Uh, yeah, it was, it was, I, was in no, I was in no mood to sort of do any sort of blogging or any kind of editing and stuff. I just managed to get my uh, blog out uh, for the for the tournament um, for Lugkins Collectibles website. So make sure you check the uh, link in the description to the blog. I do weekly blogs for Lugkins now, so make sure you check those out. Uh, yeah, just looking back on the tournament, uh, despite not doing too well, I had an absolutely fantastic time. Everyone at the tournament was super helpful. The uh, staff at Jock Mock, the uh, Pokemon professors, the organizers, VGC, TCG, prize wall people. Um, despite the shaky start of the bag security and the uh, slow start to Saturday, um, I thought that the venue was um, it was unique. It was nice to play somewhere a bit different than just like a same old sort of metallic sort of hall. So, big shout out to those guys. Done a good job despite the um, sometimes tough situations. Uh, yeah, looking back at it, uh, SP on Garbodor wasn't the right choice for the uh, for the main tournament. Um, next time I'll probably take a closer look at the meta and sort of come up come up with something that's maybe maybe a bit more a bit more stronger overall. I mean Espion Garbodor is good matchups but it's yeah it, it didn't towards the end of the day I really struggled but uh yeah. Um but I did love playing Glissopod in the League Cup. I'm definitely gonna be playing uh, Glissopod decks a lot more. Being able to do that one twenty on turn two is so strong. Um yeah I'm definitely gonna keep an eye out for that in future. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little vlog of the Bremen Regionals. Uh, this time next week I will be in the wonderful city of Bilbao in Spain, which I've never been to before. Apparently it's where Christopher Columbus set off on his uh, on his journey to America, so yay. <laughs> I will be judging there as a professor. It's a big expanded tournament, special open, so I'm looking forward to that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and uh, leave a comment below. Did you um, did you go to Bremen? Did you have did you play something? Did you do well there? Let me know how you got on. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you very soon. Gotta catch more.